Hey there, it's Cami Renee. I am wanting to share with you some examples of different types of paint. I get questions all the time about um, what should I buy? It's kind of overwhelming when I go to the store or look on Amazon or different online sources and um, I, I want to paint this or I want to explore painting uh, acrylic painting as um, an idea of what I want to do so here let me share with you what um, some of these paints do and maybe that will help you understand what you want to purchase for yourself or as a gift for someone who is interested in painting so um, first of all um, a lot of paint companies have different grades of paint so often it will be a student grade paint versus a professional grade paint and then sometimes they will also have a liquid professional grade paint so let me share with you what i have discovered i have one brand of paint here that i can show you today and um i have it uh Michael's store brand called Artists Loft and they've done a very nice job of sharing um, they have their store laid out as um, in the artist the the craft arts and crafts aisle um, they have their store laid out with level one two or three to help you um, understand um, the the next level of paint um, but you know, have to already know what your what the end result is to know whether you need to spend the extra money on the more professional levels of paint or not so let me share with you um, what these do so this is level one and this is level three they're both black so this is Mars black this is carbon black slightly different colors of black but um, I'll share with you that um so here first of all what they do on the palette so this is the um level one color and i can tell on the palette because the paint starts the puddle of paint starts to settle so i'm going to lower my camera so and show you what we're doing down here Cool. So the puddle of paint starts to settle pretty quickly. And um, it has, it doesn't have as much pigment as the professional grade paint. That's the price difference because the pigment, I have been told, is where the expense is. So this paint, the student grade paint, has more of the, the goo that makes the paint the body of the paint. Um, so I'm just painting a thin coat here and you can tell that it's pretty grayish. It's not solid. The thinner I go, the more um, brownish gray it becomes. You can see the white of the, the plate under it, even though I'm coating it with the goo of the paint. So that means when that translates to a canvas, that's on this side here. It's, um, I can see the white of the canvas as I'm trying to, I, I'm coating it and that part of the canvas is wet, but I can see through to the white part of the canvas because there's not very much pigment in this paint. Is that a bad thing? No, it just means that um, I may want two coats of paint to get a solid color but sometimes having this be liquidy helps the paint to spread better i just need to know how to use it so i use these paints for paint parties because a lot of people don't know how to spread the more professional grade paints which shows here so let me show you the professional grade I can paint a very thin coat of paint on the palette and you see it's solid. You can't see the plate through that very thin coat of paint. And that same idea translates to the canvas. The only thing that happens 
is that you see the white through there um, there's still plenty of pigment there but I need to learn and this is a learned thing how to get the paint to flow off the brush and I just dipped my brush in the tiniest little bit of water and got that paint to flow off the brush so I can use a medium of some sort or water with the professional grade paint to create the viscosity that I want so a little bit of paint goes a long way um, to create what um, I want as a professional um, or a, a solid color and that comes into play when you're layering colors um, learning about the different grades of paint I think the more you get into acrylic painting and actually painting um, things that you want to hang on your walls um, the the better the pigment uh, the more satisfied you will become but there is a learning process to make the the thicker paint do what you want it to do on the canvas so, um, this is obviously more easy to paint with a palette knife you know if you go Bob Ross on me he painted with um, oils but this paint has a more similar viscosity to oil paint than this paint um, the student grade paint has more liquid in it and it's just going to slop around on the canvas so if you want to um, paint actual oil or paints paintings that people mistake for oil paintings with the acrylic paints it's definitely possible and i've had people ask me are those acrylics or or oils because um, the finished product looks the same um, definitely the artist grade paint is what's going to help get you to that point um, and or the student grade paint is also helpful um, for people who just don't have that technique done yet um, and they just need to coat the canvas and um, that works great it's a great beginning step um, but if you're finding that the paint is frustrating you it might not be the operator error it might be that you need to upgrade your paints and um, go to the next level so I hope this is helpful and I hope that you are encouraged and as always if you have any questions please feel free to message me and I would love to help you get down started down the road of painting for fun and painting as part of your healthy lifestyle.